Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. How's it going, Rosalina? Can complain, teacher. You can complain, okay, yeah. really? Yes, everything is okay. I'm glad to hear that. So the day was very productive. It was very yes. Um, Ice Cube, Ice Cube said it was a good day. Today was a good day. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Great. How about the rest, Carlita? Meow, meow. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Peach. How are your babies? Hi. They're good. <laughs> Getting fatter. I'm sorry, my microphone has a problem. <laughs> Has a problem, it has a problem. Okay, uh, no, getting yeah. fatter, like the teacher getting fatter. Oh, uh, no, no, no. The cats. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. You know, Carlita, I need to, how do you say castrate in English? Castrate? Castrate. I, I think, yeah, I think that's the word. You need to castrate yeah. my two cats. Yes, my cats are castrated. castrated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, because cool. if not, I have a big family cat. A big family of cats? How many do you have? Yes. Two, right? What? You have two, two. cats. Two, yes. She I, and have, he. I have two males. Yeah. Two boys. I have two boys, but I'm having a problem with that. Yes, I have a. Uh, in my case, have a girl. Is correct girl and boy. Is it, is it correct to say a girl <laughs> and a boy? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What are their names? Onion and garlic. Really? Onion and garlic? Yes. yes. <laughs> well, I mean, in Spanish or in English? English. In English. Onion. Yes. Onion. Mish, mish, mish. Onion. Okay. Uh -huh. Garlic. And garlic. Yes. I uh, heard. Her mom, her uh -huh. mom name is Ginger. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow, I heard a neighbor calling her dogs. She has two little dogs, two toy dogs, I think. And yeah. they're and they're both girls. One's name okay. is Coco and the other one's name is Chanel. Oh. <laughs> like Coco and Chanel. Fancy really? name. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. Okay. Okay, guys, today I want to start with you. Just with a warm up, something that you should do at this point, you're in advanced one, so you should be able to speak about any question. So we will test your knowledge before we jump into the um, expositions. Today's topic actually is about the benefits and of different training options. So we will talk about training options. And then after your exposition, of course. So let me do the attendance really quick. We have 16 people in the house. We have Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Yes, Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Thank you. Flor de Maria Carvalho Ugarte. Oh, Present. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Thank you. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. There you are. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Hello. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. 
Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. By the way, that's my daughter's name, Julia. <laughs> it's a beautiful name. I know. <laughs> Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Ophelia Orellana Arce. Here, yeah, teacher. Good. Turn on your camera, guys, please. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Hello, good evening, present. Thank you. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Yeah, she's here. I can see her. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Yes, Susana is joining with her audio right now. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Susana, I got you. I got you. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, Walter. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Ooh, great. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Oh, yeah. just we're just missing Wilfredo. Hello. I can't believe it. <laughs> yes, Susana, I got you. I got oh, you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Before I forget, I'm staying tonight with Edwin Alexandre Aleras. Okay, just for 10 minutes after the class, Edwin. Good. Good. Awesome. <laughs> don't, don't get so excited. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So we had. Team one, group one yesterday. It's time for group number two to come to the front. Let me see, it's just two paragraphs. It's not that much. So group number one was composed by, or is composed by Ada, Adriana, Gloria, and Roselena. Yes. Okay, guys, if you're ready. Yes. Okay. I that's... think. Yes. I, I, I think. <laughs> you know, you, you are never really ready in life. So let's just okay. jump into it. Yes. Okay. okay. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Okay. Good evening. We are the group number two. And we are to explain our point of view about the topic. Um, can I read the paragraph, teacher? Yes. Okay. Okay, anyone looking to take stuff of the level of CPD might want to start, might want to start with reviewing any mandatory requirements that exist within the profession as, the, as this can vary. Currently, for example, charter sur surveyors must complete a minimum of 20 hours CPD a year, while the Royal Royal College of Vet Veterinary Surgeons recommend an average of 35 hours a year. If after I read this, after I read that, this, this, <laughs> uh, my, my personal opinion is uh, um, to perform a position in a job, we need to know how many hours in the in a year uh, we can or we have to to learn to to learn more about our position in my case i work in logistic about 20 years and i never have the idea <laughs> that i need a number of hours also yesterday I was talking with my group and I was I was telling that uh, sometimes at the in the uh, in the area that is the warehouse when I, when I work nobody pay attention nobody say okay the warehouse needs a training sometimes the, the warehouse is the last uh, the last um, um, how can I say? The last uh, group that you think, oh, we need a training for the warehouse. But nowadays, I think that 
the warehouse needs. Today I was talking with my with my boss and I and I expose uh, the the topic. And he told me, yes, uh, yes, it's a good idea. We need a training. And now I'm working in that. Um, I'm, I'm suggesting uh, some topics for for uh, all your partners and you uh, for a training maybe next year, starting the next year, because this year is is almost ending. And um, okay, that's the, the first point. And the second point about the lecture it was, okay, I'm going to read. However, however, the idea of CPD is just as re relevant to those not accredited to professional bodies or working within industries, industries where there are no formal requirements. Dr. John McGurn, Learning and Talent Development Advisor at the Charter Institute of Personal and Development points out that keeping your skills up to date is appropriate for anyone. It's about making sure you've got the capability to remain effective, he says. Your field will develop, and if you don't develop alongside it, you'll be left behind. In, in my words, in the, the thing that I understand in this topic was um, keeping or skill updating is appropriate for anyone. The important is that we have the capability to continue updating. If we don't know grow up, we don't survive. It's all. <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's go with the vocabulary on these two paragraphs. Okay. Um, Gloria and Ada have the, yeah. the vocabulary. Okay. I will share the vocabulary of the reading. It's me meaning on and synonyms. The first word is surveyor. It's a topographer, which means he's a geomatic professional who can practice in the field of construction. Architecture, architecture. Urban planning, architecture, civil, architecture, urban planning, uh, civil engineers, building, auscultation, cartography, your marketing. Uh, some synonyms make maker, measure, assessor. Uh, the second word, average, mean middle term. And it is the result obtained by dividing uh, the sum of several quantity by the number of items. Some synonyms, so so, intermediate. Third word, um, skill, means ability. And it means the ability of a person to do a thing correctly. And is and with easy. Some synon some synonyms. Proficiency, 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 progress, is know how. Okay. No, know how. Okay. The first word uh, development means progress, and. It is the concept of development refers to an unfolding process where whether it's a physical, moral, or intellectual make made 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 so cinemas perfecting, advancing, ongoing, and finally appropriate means adequate and means that it is certainly condition or is convenient in certain circumstances. So synonyms, synonyms, 
adapted, use useful and relevant. Patricia will share other words. Okay. Um, in other words, the vocabulary and um, stock is the product in the booking. Uh, for example, how much is the stock worth? Synonyms, inventory, booking. Second word, requirement. It is all the information that is required in any process. Synonyms, demands, exigencies. Example, this legal requirement is controlling the free flow of information. Mm, word three, capability is the act of performing certain action. Synonym, skill, competence. Example, we have the ability to learn English. For word, advisor is a person who gives advice in, on, in a particular subject. Synonym, authorities, Cabinet, cabinet. Example: This advisor now the pharma industry and business habit. Okay. Me good. teacher, I. Job I continue. Will also, <laughs> I will also um, share some main ideas of, about that, that lecture. Uh, to have a balance of level uh, or no, to have a, a balance of or levels in the continuum professional development uh, is first is very important. Know the requirements uh, that exist within or a uh, professions professions. So uh, we must. Uh, share advice or training uh, for this topic. Uh, is better work uh, in, in companies uh, that know uh, about this. Uh, also, is important that keeping or uh, a skill up to date because this will to help us to be best person or and professionals. Only that. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Repeat. That's it. That's it. Um, That's ayer, it. Ajá, ayer le iba a corregir a alguien que dijo only that también. Eh, no decimos only that porque eso es textual, solo eso del español al inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, and in a question, is that it? Is that all? Is that all? Is that it? Is that it? Como cuando un niño te dice, mira, tengo que decir algo bien serio, y te dice, me saqué cuatro en el examen, y tú, pues, no vas a reaccionar. ¿Qué? No, es lo que le dices. ¿Eso es? O sea, tú pensabas que era algo súper serio, y tú le decís, ¿eso es? ¿Eso es todo? ¿No? O le decís, ¿eso, eso es? Is that it? Is that it? When the, it's like the, the Looney Tunes is finished, the, the cartoons. That's all, folks. Oh, oh, oh no. Uh -huh. He says, that's all? All. That, 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> that's all? Can I <laughs> say that's all? <laughs> he's a tether. Uh, Porky originally is is, he's a tether. He's a tether. Is that a tamudo? Yeah, it's true. That, 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 that's all, folks. OK, can so. I, can I say when, when, some, when someone is telling me something, can I say that's all? And that's all. That's all. Mm -hmm. that's when all. you finish, when you finish speaking. Yeah, that's the point. Can I say, when, can I say that's all? That's all. Yes. Okay. If you say that's all, it means that's all you had to say. OK. Or you can say that's it. OK. But if somebody stays quiet, then you have to say, is that all? 
Okay. Or, are you done? Are you done? Ahora, con esta pregunta tengan cuidado porque si la hacen muy serio, suena rudo. Es como preguntar a alguien, ¿ya terminaste vos? Perdón, ya estuvo. Así, ah, bien feo. Ya estuvo. Uh -huh. Ya terminaste. Ok. Are you done? Ok. Ok. Y ese are you done se ocupa mucho cuando despedís a alguien. So. Y la persona se pone a gritar y a hacer berrinche y todo. Entonces, are you done? ¿Ya terminó? Ok. Ojo, eh. Mucho cuidado con la entonación. Ya a este punto, señores, de avanzado uno. Ok. Estoy, estoy pescando, señores. Estoy agarrando muchas áreas de oportunidad. Y me estoy deteniendo, mordiendo la boca, los labios. ¿Por qué? Eh, para no interrumpirlos, quiero que sigamos con este ímpetu que tenemos ahorita. Este, este, ¿Verdad? Eh, me está gustando. A ver, de los compañeros que no han pasado aún, eh, espero que se ponen una atención. Eso viene en el examen final. Si no, no pasan al siguiente nivel, al avanzado 12. Vamos a tener que repetir. No, mentira. Ok, so. <ríe> What? Recuerden que eso está en su plataforma también. Vamos a ir cubriendo topics, eh, temas que más que todo la gramática, puede que algún, algún um, um, vocabulario venga dentro de, de la página, ok, dentro de la plataforma. So let's go with team number three. Group number three. Let me see. Gabriel Ignacio, Gabriela González, Nelson Edgardo, and Walter Mauricio. As well, you have two paragraphs. Ready, Gaby? Okay. Uh, you will share the presentation. Can you send me? You can wait. Yes, in this moment. <coughs> mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I lost in this moment. Eh, perdón, repito, un área de oportunidad en hacer, eh, para todos. Uh, you will share the uh, presentation. Era una pregunta, ¿eh? Will you share yes, the I presentation? Will. Um, la segunda le hizo Nelson y lo mismo, ¿no? You can wait. Uh, can you wait? O creo que quería decirle a, a Selvi. Um, can you do it? Recu en otras palabras, recuerden que las preguntas se inician con el auxiliar del tiempo que están utilizando. Y si son modales, pues es el modal. Can you wait? Can you do it? Can you speak? Will you tell me? Will you see it? Will you share the presentation? Okay. Ya no los interrumpo. One, two, three, action. Okay, hey, teacher. Uh, I will explain the first paragraph. Um, for the first paragraph, I think learning is one way to ensure integrity and quality of any industry. Uh, in any area of work, it's uh, important and necessary to stay in force to be um, able to better perform your own tasks. Uh, the market and technology are constantly changing, so it's important to uh, keep in touch, like a paragraph say in the Second, uh, in the second line, for example, uh, I work in logistics. So in my work is uh, so important 
be informed and trained in different technologies uh, like uh, different software that uh, allow develop on the better way uh, your process. Um, so I think that if we are informed of the process and we transmit and this information to our clients and we guide, guide them, they will feel confident in working with us. Okay. Um, in the next paragraph, um, and more people or employee uh, always looking for development, uh, but they are learning that are already planned uh, so that you can have contact, contact with other person in or different people from other area uh, maybe better that's where you are and sometimes those people help to have better opportunity employee employment elsewhere it's also um, happen that this is work in the charging every day in each month be prepared and competitive. Mm. And competitive for to face challenges that why there are a company that development training to be able and um, to evaluate that human resolve of potential, they are so select for or, or their benefit as well. A, a, for example, um, in so far, uh, the next the next week, I have a session, the new course in Red Network Lab, Red, Red Network Lab, and is important because in, in the course uh, uh, how how more people um, more people or or are studying a different company uh, I have the contact mm, I will have contact with with a other person if I have the opportunity and the talking about the different copy uh, or different um, company. If e, e possible, uh, I have the opportunity, the employment. Is that it? Oh, come on, Nelson. Is that? <laughs> it's all. Uh, al revés, al revés. Is that? Is that? That's that's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Next. Thank you. Gabriel. Um, some of the words that we find were um uh, abreast that means in a row or side by side. UCP, that is the abbreviation or the acronym of unique selling proposition. Uh, wait, 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 unique, unique selling point. Proposition, proposition. Really? That's what I found, that's oh. what I found on Google. Okay, okay, okay. And for me it was making sense because it says it's a competitive word a competitive world, people are doing more to develop and gain a UCP. So, but I, I don't, that's what I found. And the other word was, uh, 
networking, that means uh, that you can exchange with other people or have a teamwork with other people. That's it? Yes, um, Anna Selmi, who joined to us yesterday at late, she will tell another words. Okay. Walter. Hello, good evening, everybody. Uh, I'll continue with the reading, the word, uh, and the launch. It's similar to now. It's similar to now. Uh, another word, uh, a is similar to college. Uh, my opinion, uh, my word, uh, we can use um, for world war idiots about an old skill and no learn put uh, into practice. And and send me continue. Thank you. The knowledge and um, is related to the information that the people know about the specific point. Um, the other peers is um, the people of the similar uh, charge in the company. That is the picture. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's all. Yes. That's it. That's all. And that's all. That's all. And that's all for me. And that's and that's about it. And that's about it. Okay. Good job. Okay. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Okay. How do I? Okay. Um, so let's continue uh, with the class. So to move on to the next thing, before we, before I provide you the feedback about the areas of improvement that we have, I'm gonna do something out of context. And we have a question by Susana Carolina Hernandez. We don't pass. Group number four won't pass. Oh my God, yes. No, no. <laughs> teacher. No, what happened with you? What happened? What happened, teacher? Hey, Susana, as an excuse, let me give you a gift. They are we very responsible, teacher. <laughs> yeah, let me give you a, a gift, guys, in the name of Susana. Susana, repeat with me. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Teacher, hold your horses. Teacher, hold your horses. Okay, that's the way. Cuando, estaba, cuando andaba de novia, cuando andaba de novia, de seguro su mamá o su papá le dijo eso cuando estaba con el novio. Hold your horses. Hey, despacito, le hey, tranquilo. Échense agua. Right. Hold your horses means tranquilo. Frene ahí, espérame, permítame. Ok, vamos más despacio. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Okay. Beautiful song. Um, eso es de una canción de Frank Sinatra, se llama Nice and Easy. Nice and okay. Easy. Que es un sinónimo de Hold your horses, Nice and Easy. Hold your horses, ok. Ok, good. So, let's go with group number four. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for letting me know. Carla, Pamela, Susana, Wendy, y, y miren, por cierto, ap apoyando a lo que Susana acaba de hacer, aprovechando, si oyen que me equivoco en algo, corríjanme, oyen, no se queden con que, uy, este maestro dijo bien feo esa palabra, y yo, yo he escuchado como de esta manera, no tengan <laughs> pena, ok, yo no soy perfecto, so, let's go with the group number four, one, two, three, action. Okay, 
And good evening, thank you for your attention. We are group number four. Then Pamela will read and explain about reading in her own words. Well, self-improvement helps to you to reduce stress from job because you are working to give a chance for a better of yourself. For example, learning a new language, working our advising for your rank or doing volunteers are examples of how you can, you can do self-improvement. And CP, CPD is focusing improve for your skill around work. Like if you studied something else in relate to job care, it helps you reduce stress, the stress levels as a result. Okay. Below we have a select some words and their synonyms, which will be explained by Susana and Wendy. Okay, I continue uh, with the new words and synonyms. Uh, the first new words uh, we check in the in the paragraph is a uh, self improvement. Self improvement. Uh, the synonyms is a uh, personal growth. Is the when you say or when you improve in an area of your life. And the next word is themselves. And the synonyms is on their own. Uh, is the same you say yourself or himself you. Is a uh, emphasis in you. And for me, uh, the final word is owner. Is the synony synonyms is proprietor. And it is the keeper of the something or, or things. Uh, continue my, my company. Hi, I'm continue. Well, for us, the new word is top up. The synonym is Anonymous is complete or finished. The next word is fit, like appropriate or adequate. And the last one is thin. Um, is his anonymous is look or watch? No? No, that's me, the, that is easy. the past participle of C. Okay. So see, saw, seen. Uh -huh. Okay, but, but like, is the word is see? Mm -hmm. Okay. The yeah, look at the paragraph. And we've the... seen, we've seen many people. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. Hemos visto. Oh, I use look at. <laughs> uh-huh. We've looked, okay. you, you could say we've looked much people. We've looked much people. We've seen, we've looked. We've looked many people. Yeah, okay. you can you can say it's okay. a synonym. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's all. Thank you. That's it. That's it. That's it, teacher. That's all. <laughs> Come on, guys. That's okay. It. So no espero que ciertas palabras, ciertos um, expressions, expresiones se les queden de mí y de igual manera con la th. Okay. Ciertas cosas que, que les van a ayudar muchísimo, créanmelo. No se los he dicho aún, pero yo soy del pensar que, y basado en mi experiencia, tengo, se lo voy a decir así, tengo hasta un, una doctora en inglés. Que es muy amiga mía, es, la quiero muchísimo, pero eh, no habla inglés nativo, digamos. O sea, una persona que estudió la licenciatura, se graduó de doctorado en inglés, porque sí se puede. Y aún así, ha escrito libros. Excelente gramática. Pero a la hora de hablar es como que no. Entonces, ánimo, ánimo. Y no es porque yo, yo me la pique ni no. No, 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 no. Yo sé lo que les estoy diciendo después de 14 años de estar trabajando en call centers. O sea, ya me he hecho pasar por gringo y, y me creen los gringos. Entonces, eh. <ríe> creo que 
Yo creo que sí puedo, <risa> más o menos. Me, ya me voy convenciendo. Ok, guys. Pero igual Peter. manera, también estoy consciente de que hay palabras que me faltan. Hey. Teacher, what is the correct uh, for the pronunciation proprietor? Proprietor. 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 Let's see. Proprio. Sí, a mí también es bien raro eso. Proper. Proper. It's a really weird word. Proper. It's the proper. Yeah. Actually, a synonym will be owner. I mean, owner, proper, landlord could be in this context. Landlord, the owner of a property. Keeper. keeper. Very good. Very good. So before I give you feedback, of all vocabulary and grammar that I have found as areas of improvement. Let's play something, okay? I'm gonna send you a, a link to your WhatsApp and some of you may know it already. Some others may not. Y los que sí lo conocen, les voy a jalar la oreja si no lo han estado aplicando durante este tiempo, porque a este punto es cuando les dije, los que saben básico conmigo, es que si les pasé este link, ahorita es cuando tendrían que estar ocupándolo, ¿ok? So, esta es una, y rápido, es una herramienta que te permite tener una conversación, romper el hielo, sorry, icebreaker questions. It's called conversation starters. You just click on the orange button and you will get another random topic. So the first question that I have for anybody, I mean, whoever wants to answer, you can answer, okay? Just let's play something. Select a reaction from your Zoom. You have emojis. You have emojis at the bottom of your Zoom. So if you want to participate, just put an emoji on your screen and that will let me know, hey, so she wants to speak. He wants to speak. Okay. You got it? Okay. So the first question is, what are some things you shouldn't say at work? What are some things you shouldn't say at work? If you want to answer that question, put an emoji on your screen. What are some things you shouldn't say at work? Could be teacher. And here I am the boss. Oh my God, that's an, 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 a straight example. You went straight to the example, okay. So you went straight to the example. Okay. I'm here. I'm the boss. Yes. Here, I'm the boss. Matilda, right? Yeah, I got you. I am right. You're wrong. I'm big. You're short. Matilda? No, okay. Rosalina? Uh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Yeah, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Wait. I hate, I hate, I hate. Doing, doing this. I hate doing this. <laughs> but who you shouldn't say that to? To your boss? boss? Yeah, to my <laughs> boss. <laughs> Can you say that to a co-worker? Yes. All right. Why yeah. not? Yeah, why not? But maybe directly to my boss because if I tell to my partner, he's going to tell to my boss. She said that. <laughs> uh, okay, he's going to tell my boss. Tell to? Uh -uh. Yeah. Tell my boss. Okay. <laughs> Let me go with the next question then. So, huh. it's easy. What, listen, and try to mimic. What do you do when you're bored? What do you do when you're bored? What do you do when you're bored? Okay, Rosa and Will already talked. Who wants to answer this question? Edwin, Nelson, Flor, Susan, Adriana, Pamela, Sandra, Ophelia, Julia. Oh my God, so much. Sandra. <laughs> okay, so what do you do when you're bored, Sandra? Listen to music, for example. Really? What kind of music? 
Uh, pop. Pop music, Britney Spears. Yeah. Uh, come on, really, Britney Spears. Roma. Oops, I did it again. Okay. Romantic music. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Chicago. That's right. Okay. Great job. Thank you, Sandra. Somebody else, what do you do when you're bored? Hey, where's the emoji? I watch TV. Susanna, you watch TV? Yes. What's your favorite? I like movies. I TV like movies. Movies? What kind of movies? Yes. Sometimes, sometimes I want to cry. I like drama. I like the mystery. Sometimes I am very hungry. I like and see comedy. Wait, wait, wait. You said sometimes you're you're very mood. you're very hungry or angry. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hungry? Uh, yeah. Hungry? No. Hungry or angry? Angry. Is okay. Enough? Yeah, yeah. If you're angry, okay, okay. Well, you watch I am angry. comedy. Yes, because I want to be quiet, to be relaxed. Quiet, no, relax. Relax. Yes. So if I'm angry, I watch funny movies. Hey, that's a good therapy. Yeah. Jim Carrey? I don't, I don't see Betty La Fea. I never <laughs> see Betty La Fea. What? Why? No, I don't know. I don't know. I, I've seen it twice. Yeah. I've seen Betty La Fea twice. I don't, I don't know why. In fact, I had a, I had a student. I had a student while we were in class. I caught her. I caught her watching Betty La Fea once in class, and I was like, "Really? <laughs> I mean, so don't do that, guys. Okay." The original version, teacher. Yes, the original. No, 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 no. The original version. The original version, because I feel. Oh no, floor is here. I cannot say that. It's just that I, I feel identified with Betty Lafayette, the story. Okay. No. okay. Flor, shh, don't say anything, okay? Okay, so let's continue. It's just so look, Flor conoce mi esposa por el colegio, so don't worry. Okay, don't tell her. My wife's name is Betty, I mean Beatrice. Nobody calls her Betty, actually, so. Okay, let's go. This is easy, guys. So, si hablaste, ya no puedes hablar, okay? Deja que los demás participen. Next, describe your perfect men or women. So, I need a man and a woman, okay? Describe your perfect men or women. This is basic, basic questions. Describe your perfect men or women. Woman, sorry. Hmm? Describing people. This is English, remember, it's not, it's just for you to try your adjectives, remember. Gloria wants to talk. Yes. Easy, easy. The man must be smart, uh, smart. Right. Uh, hardworking. Hardworking. Just hard. smart and hardworking. Yes. Okay. No Thor, no Captain America. No, okay. no. The Batman, the Batman. Handsome. The Batman? Handsome. Okay. <laughs> if possible, if possible, <laughs> handsome. But uh, he, he, uh, dancing. Uh, with uh, Cheyenne. Oh, like Cheyenne? <laughs> okay. Cheyenne. <laughs> Dancing Cheyenne. Uh, the, um, the physic, uh, uh, physical, uh, physical. Physically? Physical. Ricky mm -hmm. Martin. Ricky Good. Martin. Ricky Martin. Like Ricky Martin? Oh uh, my God. Uh, you're, uh, you're asking for <laughs> too much. <laughs> and, um, you're in El Salvador. <laughs> See, see the uh, uh, with uh, Luis Miguel. Okay. 
nothing more. Good perspectives. That that's it. That's yeah. it. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah. As simple as that. <laughs> Rosalind is in love now. Okay. I fall in love. <laughs> <laughs> you it's fell. Crazy. You fell in love. in love. Yeah. It's crazy. Sarah. Okay. Good. Amen. Amen. Describe your perfect women. Remember, this is just adjectives. Adjectives. Try it. And there are two ways of saying uh, the characteristics of someone, right? He needs uh, to be, he needs to have, or you can just picture it, right? My perfect woman, I mean woman, I'm sorry, my perfect woman is tall. Um, she has black hair. She has brown eyes. She is white skin and so on, right? I'm just making up things, but okay. Amen, amen, come on. Me teacher, my perfect man, I should be romantic, uh, romantic, uh, creative, dancer, and Good. social, sociable, sociable. Sociable. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's, I, it's, Delgado, I don't remember. Yeah. Skinny. How do you say delgado? Uh huh. Skinny. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Skinny is like to the bones. No. Hasta los huesos, thin. no. Thin. 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 Okay. Thin. thin. Wait, Adriana. Thin or feet? Feet. Mm. Twice. Twice. Both. 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 <laughs> Ambos. Okay, both. Yes. Good. Okay. Okay. Men are shy. Don't nobody wants to talk about a woman. Okay. Do you know what? I don't know why, but I'm getting word words related or vocabulary related to, to work. And this is good. So the next question is. What are some things that you should not say? And I'm sorry, there's twice the, the word not. I'm sorry. You should not say during a job interview. What are some things that you should not say during a job interview? And sell me. Okay, Edwin Alexander, go. Uh, hello, good evening, guys. Uh, I think uh, one thing that you should not say during a job interview is when they they asking you, uh, can you tell me about yourself? Many many people think that that they're they're that you have to say about your your um because. If if someone in, in an interview asking you for your uh, for your background or your uh, tell me about yourself, it's because they want to know about your your last job or your what do you what what experience do you have or what you can do for the company, because many people say oh I like play soccer I like to do things I like to go to the park and I like to get spend a lot of time with my family, but most of my, uh, the, the, the people who is interviewing, they don't, they don't want to know that. They don't want to know that. They, wanna, they want to know what you can do for the company or what, what do you have for, for, for the company. I think that's, that's uh, a, a mistake that many people uh, do when, they're, when, when someone asks you that question. When someone makes mm -hmm. that question good. When someone, yeah. Okay, so the right thing yes. to say is positive adjectives, yes. positive adjectives. Okay, and I said, that's it. thank you. Yes, teacher, I agree with the comments of Edwin. And when, um, when the interviewer asks about a specific question, it's important that give the specific answer because um, it's not good, for example, when the, the, you say, the potential employee uh, 
gives the a lot of information for example in the in the uh, last job um, for example what is your relationship with your co-workers or with your boss in the the potential employee um, talk but the a lot of information it depends the specific context and it's possible to to give the bad uh, impression during the interview give a bad impression that's right mm -hmm. okay good job guys i was expecting you to participate more we will be doing this from time to time okay from time to time i will make your random questions maybe at the beginning of the class okay sometimes let me go with the last one um you may have heard this thing um for example uh what is your biggest pet pv what's your biggest pet pv and you can tell me based on what i'm about to tell you this is the example so in the future i will say for example hey um what's your biggest pet pv and i will give you an example and then i will divide you in groups so you can practice and then come back and I will select some of you to give me the answer, okay? So this is the question, let me show you. What is your biggest pet PV? My biggest pet PV, hold on, let me think. Something uh, that, it, that really irritates me is when my dog pees um, the sofa. You know, when he pees on the rooms, on the bedrooms, I hate that. I don't like it at all. Um, or the opposite, when I'm walking with my dog on the street and someone is afraid of my dog and they go like, oh my God. I mean, it's a husky, you know, but people it tends to, they, they tend to be afraid of the dog because it's big. That's one of my, that's my biggest pet peeve, let's say. What's your biggest pet peeve? Did you understand what is a, P a pet PV? No? I don't, I don't, I never have listened to that word, but. I never uh, heard that word before. Yeah, I never he heard that word before, but I look in the meaning and it's like annoying something. It's annoying, that's right. What annoying. annoys you? What annoys you? What makes you upset really quick? What's okay. your biggest? It's about, <laughs> sorry, teacher, it's about the behavior of the pet dislike. No, 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 I, I, I don't know why I talked about my pet, but yeah, that's one of my biggest pet peeve. A pet peeve is like what makes you angry what what okay. makes Indeed. you what makes you mad for example in the old context some women yeah. say yeah some women say my husband okay. my husband getting drunk coming home drunk that's my mm, no Again. sandra si cuál es tu mayor molestia Ahora, ese, ese ejemplo, si ¿sí me entendieron, lo que vamos a estar haciendo de vez en cuando, most likely al, al inicio de la clase les voy a tirar una pregunta abierta, muy random, okay, para que todos la podamos responder y vayamos a adquirir nuevo vocabulario. El punto es soltar la lengua, señores. So, let me do the attendance before I go with your feedback. And then we jump into the topic for tonight. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present, teacher. Thank you. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present, teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Present. Thank you. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. 
Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. ¿Quién? Here teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Thank you. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. Present. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Walter. He was there. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wendy. Uh, no, se desconectó. Okay. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Great. Hey, welcome again, Wilfredo. I, I think we lost you for a minute. Okay. So let's you. go with your feedback really quick. If you thought, oh, no, he's not even paying attention to us. He's just listening to us, but he's not paying attention. Mm -mm. I am. That's my job. If I don't pay attention to you, wow. Okay, so let me share with you your areas of improvement and you will help me in some parts, okay? So let's go here, part by part. So this, if you notice, I just section it with little asterisks and I will go deleting part by part. So. First areas, let's see, let me see you, I don't see you, there you are. Okay, agree, disagree. I told you yesterday, you never say, I'm agree. Les voy a suplicar que si no me entienden lo que les estoy diciendo, me detengan, no tengan miedo, yo no me voy a enojar, al contrario. Me voy a alegrar de que el que me diga, teacher, no le estoy entendiendo, he volado, no hay problema. So agree, disagree. You don't say, I'm agree. I don't agree. Mm -mm. So in other words, you don't use an auxiliary to say that you are okay or not with something. If you are okay with something, okay, I agree. Do we all agree? Come on, do we all agree? Yogurt, yes, señores, yogurt, yes. Do we all agree? Yes. Yes, yes we do. Yes, yes, okay. yes we do. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, we, yes, we do, that's yes, right. Yes, we do. Do we all agree? Yes, we do, okay. So, that's it. Now, y esto sí, perdóname, pero lo voy a hacer en español porque es bien sencillo Hay verbos de necesidad como need, have, want, love, hate. ¿Ok? Have. Si lo que tú vas a decir a continuación de estos verbos de need, love, have. ¿Ok? Es un noun como para decir, por ejemplo, yo, a mí me gustan las pupusas, ¿cómo lo diría? ¿De cuánto hay pupusas? A mí me gustan las pupusas. Ay, no dije lo que, no dije lo que sentí pupusa. ahorita, Wilfredo. I like pupusas. I like pupusas. Like... <laughs> dije, traduzcan no lo que quieren ahorita. I want pupusas. I, 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 I feel so, so hungry, teacher. Really? Again? Okay. I don't know. I, I, got, I got joking. So, okay, oigan. I, a mí me gustan las pupusas. I like... Like. Pupas, right? That's it. I like pupas. I don't say I like to pupas. Okay. Ahora bien, si lo que voy a decir es un verbo, I like to eat pupas. Okay. I like to eat pupas. Es decir, no puedes tener dos verbos conjugados en el mismo tiempo gramatical unidos. Okay. Mira que feo. Para que me entendas el concepto. I like to eight I like eight I like eight pupus, pupas no o sea 
Solo eso, ¿eh? Vas, usualmente vas a ocupar la preposición to para separar dos verbos que están bajo el mismo tiempo gramatical. So, we need yeah. to explain that alguien está fallando el micrófono. Ok, ya. Yeah. Ok. We need to explain that. Sí, alguien tenía una pregunta. No, eso del micrófono. Del micrófono, ¿verdad? Se oía. Ok. Ok, next. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Um, the word synonyms. Synonyms. Repeat. Synonyms. Synonyms. There you go. Synonyms. 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 Entonces, cuando yo te digo dónde está el estrés de la sílaba, marcalo, escribí esa palabra, ponerle un triangulito hacia encima. Synonyms, eso sí, yo cuando estaba pequeño, le ponía el triangulito y escuchaba una nueva palabra, le ponía el triangulito. Solo hay como dos o tres palabras que llevan dos estrés. Son palabras muy largas, ok. Synonyms. Ok, give a chance for develop yourself. Give a chance for develop yourself. Primera sentencia, primera oración en la que me van a ayudar. ¿Qué está mal en esta oración? Let's go. For yourself. For yourself. No. Hmm. Uh, it, it could be give a chance to develop. Excellent. To develop yourself. Okay. ¿Hay alguna otra forma de hacerlo? Esa es una. ¿Hay alguna otra forma de hacerlo? Uh, changing the verb uh, with ing. Es excelente. Yes. There you go. So, give a chance for developing yourself. Ahora, ¿por qué ocurre esto? Repetí conmigo. To verb. Mm -hmm. To verb for noun. Okay. To verb for noun. Como así, teacher. I go to the grocery store for milk. Okay. I go to the grocery store. To buy milk. En este caso, ambas preposiciones, to y for, están funcionando como um, pro purpose, como propósito. ¿Cuál es el propósito de ir a la tienda? ¿Por leche o para comprar leche? Ok. So, esto que les estoy diciendo hay que irlo estudiando, hay que irlo estudiando, repasando si ya lo vimos, ok. Esta es una duda que yo tenía y quiero ver. ¿Está bien esto? Some slow, more slowly. Can I say more slowly? Excuse me, can you speak more slowly? More slowly. Can I say that? Is this appropriate? The rice is slower, slower, slower. Um, slow. Hmm. Can you speak slower? And that's using a comparative. Okay. Could you Thank speak you. slower? Can you speak slower? slower? <laughs> yeah, that's an option. Uh, could you slow down? Please. Could you slow down, please? Okay. Older horses? You can use older <laughs> horses here? It depends. Be careful with that. In a professional environment? Okay. Mister, hold your horses. Okay. That sounds rude. Okay. That sounds rude. Just be careful. Okay, next. If we stop to learning, and again, what's wrong here? If 
we stop to learn. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's an option. I just told you that. I just taught you. I just taught you two and four. Mm. If we stop to learn. Ahora, aquí es donde yeah. tú ya empezas a pensar qué suena mejor. If we stop to learn, o oh, la opción que nos va a dar la compañera uh -huh. ahorita. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's like the, uh, like the, the previous. Uh -huh, the previous example. Uh -huh. If we stop for learning. Oh. No. Then, no. If we stop. ¿Qué suena mejor? If we stop to learn or if oh, we stop learning. Stop learning. If we stop learning. Okay. ¿Quién entendió? I like pupusas. I like to eat pupusas. I like eating pupusas. I like eating pupusas. So, la tercera forma de separar los verbos. Ok. Miren eso. If we stopped learning. If we stopped learning. Oh, if we stopped learning. Ok. El punto es no tener dos verbos conjugados bajo el mismo tiempo gramatical. Ok. Bien, revisen este video. As opposed to. Eso es algo que les quería decir porque alguien estaba hablando y decía um, in a different way. Me parece que alguien lo sacó dentro de su vocabulario. As opposed to. Y me gustó. De manera opuesta a, ojo, esto es mucho léxico para ustedes. As opposed to. Podría decirse que esta es una de las per conjunctions que estábamos viendo. As opposed to. As opposed to my expectations, she's a great student. As opposed to my expectations, she's a great student. Okay. The smart employee, sorry, the elder, the smart employee, they pay attention, decía el compañero. The smart employee, uh, they pay attention. Bien, un área de oportunidad que he notado en general en el grupo es que aún no hemos coordinado, no le, hemos, no le hemos encontrado la coherencia. Esto es mucho, mucha lógica. Si tú estuviste en, en, en el nivel básico aprendiendo sobre los sujetos y luego viene el verbo y el profesor te explicó, si estuviste conmigo, por supuesto que lo hice porque es una adicción que tengo, hacer énfasis en que los sujetos son reemplazables de manera abstracta. Si yo te digo, aunque no me, no me gusta decir eso, pero porque mi, mi, con mi hijo tenemos una siempre discutimos con eso, es el agua o la agua, no sé, pero bueno, él dice que es el agua. Si yo te digo el agua, ¿con qué sujeto reemplazas esa palabra? Rápido. It. 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 Lo mismo con el aire, ya, eh, la luz, es decir, cosas abstractas, ideas abstractas las va a reemplazar con it. Ese es un ejercicio mental que vas a hacer rápidamente. Y en este caso, the smart employee Estoy hablando de he, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese ejercicio de pasarlo rápido a un sujeto en tu mente te va a ayudar a entender que lo que sigue tendría que estar en tercera persona, lo que es presente simple. The smart employee pays attention. El compañero decía, the smart employee, y luego se cortó y decía, they pay attention. Haciendo énfasis un poco más en esto, señores de avanzado, porque toda la vida con el sueño avanzado, me encuentro con la misma área de oportunidad. Espero que todos estén poniendo atención, por favor. Si yo quiero pluralizar, es decir, generalizar una idea, yo no voy a ocupar singulares. Para pluralizar una idea y decir que los elefantes son grises, por ejemplo, no voy a decir the elephants... are gray. Ok. Tendría que ser más específico. Los elefantes que yo conozco, eso sí, son grises. Ok. Si quiero generalizar, quito el artículo. Elephants are gray. Y eso es una verdad absoluta. Elephants are gray. 
No, teacher. En Dumbo salen rosados. Ok, no. Elephants are gray. Lo mismo ocurrió aquí. Smart employees. Ahora bien, y este es el problema que estoy encontrando en este grupo. No necesitas decir they ya. ¿Sí? Tu sujeto ya está aquí. Smart employees. Pay attention. ¿Tiene sentido? Smart employees pay attention. Si es, primer, si es tercera persona, es decir, es un, un singular, entonces sí. A smart employee pays attention. ¿Ok? Espero haber sido claro en eso. Primero digo, vayamos corrigiendo, corrigiendo eso. Um, ok, y decía, smart employees take advantage to the fullest. Teacher, how do you say al máximo? Okay. To the fullest. They take advantage of to the fullest. Take advantage. Tomar ventaja. No sabía el compañero cómo decirlo. Okay. El estrés de esta palabra estaba mal. Y es benefits. No, benefits. Benefits. No, benefits. Benefits. Okay. Eh, ¿Por qué hago tanto énfasis en lo que les estoy diciendo? Procuro articular lo mejor que puedo. Si tú eres inteligente, te vas a ir a los videos, vas a empezar a ver video tras video y tratar de encontrar nuevas palabras dentro de lo que hablamos en la clase que no identifiques y poder hacer esto, de identificar el estrés de la sílaba, ¿ok? Benefits, benefits. Um, y esto, it's going to be really. Ahora, esto ocurre porque seguimos traduciendo el español al inglés literalmente. It's going to be really. En lugar de decir, this is true. This is going to be true. What I'm about to tell you is true. ¿Ok? ¿Qué otra forma puedo decir que esto será real o esto es real lo que le voy a decir? This is real. This is real. Ok. ¿Una manera más nativa de decirlo? Y lo han visto en miles de películas. I don't lie. What? I don't lie. No miento. I, I don't lie. I don't lie. No lie. No lie. Ok. De que estaban pequeños están escuchando eso al inicio de las películas. La siguiente película está basada en hechos reales. This is true. True what? True lie. True fact. No, true fact. True fact. True fact. Okay, so this is true fact. Okay, true fact. O simplemente la, la expresión. Hey, true fact. True fact. Le voy a dar una más. How do you say? ¿Cómo decís ojo en inglés? Todos tenemos la maña de decirle. Cuando estamos explicando a alguien, le decimos a todos ojo, eh, ojo. En inglés, keep an eye. Keep an eye on this. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I, I, told, I told you that. Keep mm -hmm. an keep eye on this. <laughs> keep an eye on this. Okay. Focus, sir. Focus. Mm, ah, Denzel Washington. Mind this. Mind this. Mind this. Mind this. Mind this. Mind this. Eso se le escuché en un discurso que dio él en una universidad, Denzel Washington. Mind this. Le decía, lo dijo como cinco veces durante el discurso. Mind this. Mind this. Sorry, teacher. Keep an eye. Keep an eye. Keep an eye. An eye. Oops. Thank you. Y aquí es donde espero que lleguen ustedes. Ya una dislexia a la inversa. Es en serio. Como cuando estoy escribiendo rápido en el trabajo y en lugar de poner the, pongo de. Sí, es en serio. Menos mal que siempre reviso todo. Ok, the, the. So, mind this. Keep an eye on this. Keep an eye. Ok. Stay focused. Yes. Continuing with the idea of Wilfredo. Una cosa que he notado en el grupo es que no me están ocupando los nombres posesivos. ¿Quién se acuerda? Rápido. ¿Quién me explica cómo se ocupan los nombres posesivos? ¿Cuál es el otro nombre en inglés que se le da a esto? Oh, my 
god really apostrophe. How, how yes do you apostrophe apost you apostrophe. did it yeah you did it apostrophe apostrophe yeah. s apostrophe s design you teacher design the apostrophe huh no yeah this is apostrophe the name of the comma mm -hmm. it's apostrophe so continuing with wilfredo's idea continuing with wilfredo's idea okay try to do that i did it today um well what am i saying okay continuing with wilfredo's idea continuing with i'm sorry wilfredo's idea okay my mom's house is big okay hey let's go to rosas let's go to rosas y los americanos hacen esto un montón hey let's go to wilfredo's he has a nice house Oh, eh? let's go to Wilfredo's. Let's go to my mom's. Hey, where are you, Wilfredo? Oh, um, I'm at my mom's. I'm at my mom's. Estoy en lo de mi mamá. Así lo traducen las películas. Estoy en lo de mi mamá. O sea, estoy en la casa de mi mamá. I'm at my mom's. Mm -hmm. Okay. Only that. Miren, hasta lo he escrito ya. Only that. No, that's it. That's it. That's it. Hoy van a dormir diciendo, that's it, that's it. Díganle a su cerebro en la noche, that's it, that's it, dormite ya, that's it, that's it. <laughs> okay. That's all, uh, Sorry, that's all. That's that, all. Yeah, you can say that too, that's all. That's all for me. Eso es todo para mí. That's all for me. Okay, we are to explain aquí una compañerita de lentes, se le olvidó el going to. We're going to explain. <laughs> okay, pronunciation. This word, okay. Um, the heat varies. Oh, um, yeah, I, I cannot think about another word. They vary the coffee blends or branch i don't know what to say they vary the coffee brands for to, per branch okay the weather varies in el salvador the weather is very variable 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 you got it so very is not very like very, okay? Very varies. Tiene similar pronunciación. Heat varies. Variety, teacher. Variety. 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 A variety. A variety. A variety. Yeah. So they have a variety of coffee blends per branch. They have a variety of coffee blends per branch. Okay, so be careful, very, it varies. Similar pronunciation, okay? Varies. The past of read, what's the past of read? Real. <laughs> and you did it, my friend. Read, 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 right? Read, read, read. Present, past, past participle. Read, read, read. I work in logistics about 20 years. La mayoría no me están ocupando el presente. Perfecto. So, ¿cómo sería la forma correcta de usar eso? De decir cuántos años llevas o por cuántos años has trabajado en la misma empresa. I have been working. I have been Work? Eso es presente oh. perfecto continuo. I yeah. have been working, ¿oí? I have been worked. Uh, working. Uh -huh. I have. So, uh -huh. oh my God. I have worked. Sí, Rosalena, <laughs> you're right. That. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have worked. Work. I have work. worked. 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 Excellent. I have, I have worked. worked in logistics. Oh Ahora bien, yes. ¿qué sigue, Rosalena? I For or since? Oh, 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 no, my friend. For, if you say for, for, 
20 yeah, years. No. Oh, Ojo, si decís since four. 2000, 2000, uh -huh. 2000. Yes. I have to mention the years, but if I say yeah. since uh -huh. 20 years. Since? 20 years. Since 20 years ago? Nah, since 2020. Let's say since 2000, uh -huh. for example. Okay, I have worked in logistics since 2000. Oh, since 2002, okay. That's it. I have Teacher, worked in, in logistics. In English, is formal when you mention the year 2020. Oh, is it yeah. informal, yes. There's formal. no formal or informal on the way you say the years. It's okay. It's okay. It's in okay, 2000. Meeting, in the formal meeting in the business, it's right yeah, there, there, I, I mean, oh, oh, in writing, yes, there's a lot of formality, but in a meeting as a manager, as a manager, I can tell you, um, it all depends on the level of the people in the meeting, okay? The more respectful you have to be, the more you should articulate or extend your words because the point is to deliver your message. That's all. You got it? Okay, T try to yes, be proper. Okay. But when it comes to numbers, and I say me, about years, it's okay. You can say 2000. Something that you can never do is 20 oh. oh. 20, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, 2001, no, 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 say 2001, 2002, 2003, 2009, mm -hmm. 2010, 2010, 2011, 2012, yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, I was telling that in the area, oh, okay, eh, siguiente área de oportunidad, nos estamos comiendo los pronombres. Recuerden que siempre en una oración, la oración está dirigida a alguien y esa es la función de los pronombres sujetos, okay? I was telling them that in the area where I work, I was telling them that, I was telling them that in the area, okay? No se les olviden los pronombres, hay varios acá. Ya vamos a ir al siguiente. Repeat, nowadays, 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 nowadays. It's plural, nowadays. Uh, si lo, no lo saben, eso quiere decir hoy en día. Hoy en día. Hoy por hoy. <ríe> en lugar de decir actually, uh -huh. currently, no, nowadays. Mm -hmm. Talking with my boss, hablando con mi jefe, de nuevo, seguimos traduciendo del español al inglés. Talking, talking to. to. Talking to my boss. Para que no se le olvide, listen to your heart. <ríe> okay. Yeah, listen to. Talking to a training for all your partners and you. Y aquí se estaba refiriendo a la compañera a a training for all my partners, my and, partners I. and I. Uh -huh. yes. Pero yo sentí que le traicionaron los nervios. Yes. So it's okay. <laughs> a training for all my partners and I. And I yes. Oh, the pronunciation, eso lo hizo más de alguno. Capability. Capability. If you have the capability, if you have the capability. 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 Eso lo podrían incluso cambiar como, pero es que no, tendría otro significado, como ya lo vimos. Si yo digo, if you have the ability, it's different than saying, if you have the capability. Another way could be, otra forma podría ser, if you're capable of. If you're capable of playing soccer, if you have the capability, capability of playing football. ¿Ok? Es bastante información. Una palabra que les faltó a los compañeros en ese grupo era up to date. Es un synonym, ¿ok? Y es una, quería hacer énfasis en que es una palabra hyphenated. Es una palabra separada, compuesta y separada por hyphens. ¿Ok? Ojo con eso, hyphens la separada por esos pequeños eh, guiones, hyphenated. Ok, hay muchas. Siguiente, pronunciación. Cuando vean que yo pongo lit en algo, eso quiere decir literally. Literally. O sea, literal, así lo pronunció. 
tal cual se escribe. Certain, decía la compañera o compañero, no me acuerdo. Y es certain. Ojo con esto. Ok. Eh, una pronunciación muy difícil. Y eso va con cortina, con esta palabra, con montaña también. So you say certain. Certain. Mm -hmm. Certain. Certain. Corten. Corten. Mountain. 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 Certain. Ok. Certain. Esa es una de las pronunciaciones más difíciles y pocas personas lo hacen. Las personas nativas, por supuesto, lo hacen todo el tiempo. Certain. Ok. Next. Advice. 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 Ok. Advisor. Advisor. Next, it's very important, aquí de nuevo, tengo que separar, to know the requirements. It's very important, know the, requir the requirements, no, it's very important to know the requirements. Eh, esto puede haber sido un error de nervios. This will to help us. Recordatorio, va el verbo después del auxiliar, en el futuro con will. This will help us. This will help us. Ok. Cuidadito. Wazowski. Ok. Next. Pronunciation. Ya casi terminamos. Un error común y hay que borrarlo de un solo. La TH es una Z. Z. Esta compañera o compañero decía tres veces esta palabra. I think. I think. I think. Uh -huh. I think. Perfect. I think. I think. I think, think, think. Mire, okay. teacher, y cuando yo hable naturalmente voy a andar haciéndole así como que soy silvestre yes. todo el tiempo y sacándole la yes. lengua a los gringos. Nah. Eventualmente tu cerebro se acostumbra. Créemelo, okay. te va a dar risa ahorita, pero todo esto son músculos, ¿sí? Y tu cerebro es capaz de adaptarse a lo que tú le ordenes. O repetición constante. ¿eh? I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. ¿Cómo corrijo esto? Pongo mi mano enfrente de la boca. Y soplo un poquito cuando saco la lengua. Si no siento el aire en la palma de mi mano, esto no funciona. ¿Ok? Más no fácil como eso. I think, I think, I think. Thunder, thunder. Thundercats. Siguiente. Decía la compañera o compañero. Aria. The aria. Mm. ¿Cómo es? The area. 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 Perfect, Will. Yeah, perfect, Rosa. The area, the area, area 51. Okay. In my work, okay. Esta persona tiene pista, señores. Acuérdense que work es un lugar. Si es tuyo, tú eres el dueño del trabajo. Uy, qué chivo dice. In my job, o puedes decir in my workplace, en mi lugar de trabajo. In my workplace, in my job. Ok. Next, literally, allow. Momento, dijo allow. No, no, no. Ajá, allow. Es allow, allow, allow. Esa voz suena a allow. Ok. The message we want to transmit. Y ahí me, me busqué. Un sinónimo de transmit que dicen mucho los hindúes con los que hablo a veces. Convey. Y de manera profesional, Ana Sermi se ocupa mucho este, este, este verbo. Convey. I want to convey an idea to the meeting. Quiero transmitir. I want to convey. Deliv deliver could be another one. Ok. The message we want to convey. Queremos transmitir. Some of... Say... Sorry, mm -hmm. we can say the message, the message that we communicate. That we want to communicate. Uh -huh. Muy okay. largo. Muy largo. Okay. Mm -hmm. What we're saying is, the message we want to convey is, esto de, tiene mucho significado ese convey, ese transmitir, o sea, que es que llegue a muchas personas. Okay. Some of the words we find, decía el compañero por ahí, we found. Some of the words we found, pasado. Cuidado, eso, eso se está volviendo algo común también, olvidarnos del pasado. Ok. Helps to you to reduce stress. 
Alguien leía por ahí. Helps, de nuevo, you to reduce threats. Doing volunteers. Eh, creo que aquí fue más eh, un problema de lectura. Y quizás lo escribí para hacerles énfasis en el hecho de que no, don't rush the words. Ok, don't rush the words. When you're reading, don't rush the words. ¿Alguien que me traduzca? Si esta fuese una clase más interactiva, tendría todos hablándome, traduciendo. Cuando yo digo algo así, me dirían, eh, eso quiere decir, don't, o solo lo dirían out loud. Don't rush the words. No corras. ¿Cómo es? Like, like quickly. Ajá, uh -huh. don't go fast. Don't go, don't read quickly. Ok, don't rush the words. No apresures las palabras cuando leas, ok? Don't rush the words. Why? Because you may, you may step on them. You may step on them. When you read, in, for example, the paragraph, mm -hmm. when you read and talking, sometimes, en español, puedo decirlo en español. Sure. Lo Uh -huh. O sea, es como que en mi caso lo digo más rápido y lo leo más rápido. No puedo generar pausas. O sea, me agarra la, la carrera. Uh, se me lengua la traba. Ajá, uh -huh. y siento que al hacerlo más rápido es como lograr rápido. disfrazar ciertas palabras que no conoces. Mm, no. Es que ese es el punto, Susana. Hay que articular. Entre más articulemos, mejor ahorita. Todavía estamos a tiempo. Ya en un avanzado 3, yo les voy a dejar que corran todo lo que quieran. Es más, les voy a decir la clave para leer rápido. Pero, o sea, tiene que ser algo natural, Susana. Así como usted lee en español, que su cerebro... Y este, esto no es usted, Susana. Este es su cerebro. Su cerebro es capaz de leer lo que viene. Ya lo leyó y le está dando la idea. Va atando cabo, va razonando. El ejemplo que le daba de mi hijo. El problema de él es que él es, le están dictando y no logra pintar en su cabecita lo que está, lo que, el sentido de lo que está copiando en el cuaderno. ¿Sí me explico? Es bien difícil, ¿eh? So, lo mismo ocurre con nosotros. De una manera natural eso se tiene que ir dando y eso solo se va a lograr con la lectura. Ojo, ¿eh? Ojo todos. Leer, escuchar audios en inglés les va a ayudar a, a ir avanzando. Next. ¿Dónde está este de esto? ¿Quién me lo lee bien? A ver, ¿quién le escribió? ¿Quién puso el...? ¿Cómo fue? Ana. Synonyms. Yes. Synonyms. Synonyms. Okay. Next, how do, you, how do you read this word? How do you read this word? Emphasis. Emphasis? Okay. Emphasis, emphasis. emphasis. No, emphasis. emphasis. This is emphasis. Yeah, emphasis is with a Z. Uh -huh. Okay, I want to emphasize. I want to emphasize this. Okay. And pronunciation. Top up. Top up. That's to, top, top, up. Up. Top, top up. Top up. Top up. No. Top up. Top up. Okay. Y de nuevo, the comments of Edwin. <laughs> Edwin's comments. Okay, guys. Espero que revisen eso, vean sus áreas de oportunidad y las vayamos corrigiendo. Eh, feedback. ¿Alguien me quiere dar feedback a mí? Está bien lo que estamos haciendo. ¿Les parece apropiado? ¿Quieren que lo hagamos de otra manera? A mí sí me sirvió, teacher, pero eh, como estoy acostumbrada no, a algo, teacher. otras veces no me habían corregido en otras cosas y es como así lo venía haciendo. Entonces, igual, es como que muchas colecciones, muchas maneras nuevas de sustituir lo otro, no capto todo. Claro, claro. Igual, es un, o sea, es un avanzado, pero yo no estoy así de avanzada realmente. ¿Y quién dice? Yo lo noto. ¿Y por qué? Lo siento. Entonces, si eras como eran varias cosas y, y está bien, porque fue interesante. Entonces, eh, quiere... Mucho, mucho para mí. Ok, un consejo y no se sientan, y no es para Susana nada, es para todo el mundo, ¿ok? Gracias. No se preocupen, es, esto es para todos. Quítense el no de la boca. Como seres humanos, digan, lo voy a intentar, ¿ok? 
Es más, lo estoy intentando. Y jamás digan, lo intenté. Y no pude. Ahí va el no ya. Ahí va el no. Siempre nuestra mente nos va a llevar a, a protegernos. Y ese es el problema. Cuando le tenemos, cuando le, y esa es la cosa, oye, le tenés miedo a algo, tu cerebro inmediatamente va a decir, uy, no, 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 tengo que proteger. Me voy a poner el ejemplo más extremo que tengo en mi vida. A los siete años, mi mamá, mi papá estaba ahorcando a mi mamá, la tenía del cuello. Dicen, vea, yo no me acuerdo. Y este es el punto de la historia. No me acuerdo. Dicen a mi papá, le estaba ahorcando a mis siete años, casi siete años, y yo le estaba viendo. Entonces mi cerebro dijo, yo no quiero que este güey recuerde esto. Y borró todo. Desde los siete, seis años en adelante empecé a grabar de nuevo. Y mi primer como cosa fue, ¿para dónde se fue mi mamá? Ah, se fue para Estados Unidos. ¿Y qué hacen en Estados Unidos? Ah, pues hablan inglés. Ah, ¿qué hacen en inglés? Y el, la persona que más ha amado en mi vida me regaló un diccionario de este vuelo, un tío. Y empecé a traducir. No sé. Se dio. Entonces, tu cerebro siempre te va a estar protegiendo. Si tú decís, ay, presente perfecto. Entonces el cerebro va a decir, no. Presente perfecto. ¿Tiene sentido? ¿Bien? Yes. Ojo, ¿eh? Lo Ojo. que usted mencionaba, teacher, de que, o sea, toda esa, esa información y conocimiento que se ha venido estudiando está en algún lado y que la misma práctica nos, nos, nos va a permitir el que lo podamos. Y, y, y es. En lo personal me parece bien estas actividades porque eh, soy, en mi caso soy más consciente de, de los asuntos, de estas oportunidades de mejora y, y a este nivel, yo, en lo personal yo siento que es un buen momento para corregir todo eso que en la teoría y que, y que de manera tradicional uno lo aprendió y lo ha dejado ahí guardado en algún lado. Por ejemplo, eso es lo que usted mencionaba del, del apóstrofe. Uh -huh. Es como que a la hora de estar hablando, los nervios, como que la mente lo, lo traduce de manera, en, en, en español. La, la, ah, el comentario de Edwin. Edwin's comment. Entonces, el, 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 hay tanto lo que, que usted mencionaba. Correcto. Lo, lo del neurolingüística que usted nos mencionó ya, yo creo que sí, eh, definitivamente... Sí ha sido, en lo personal ha sido como un choque, pero así como un choque de realidad. O de sea, realidad, decir, es que, ah, cabal, o sea, el cerebro te va a proteger y te va a decir, no, 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 eso no lo voy a aprender. Sin embargo, está así, mira. Ahí sí, ahí está, ya, ya lo guardé, ya lo guardé. Y guardo toda la información, como dice la Selmi. A ver, ¿cómo se dice cochera en inglés? Garage. ¿Cómo se dice emparedado en inglés? Sandwich. Sandwich. Ajá, ok. Todo eso lo venís diciendo desde que estabas chiquita. Dame un sándwich, mamá. Mm. Ya sabía sure. Okay, hey. In my opinion, I, I, I'm talking about for me or for myself. About myself. Okay. Uh -huh. I I guess that I have a a, a little bit trouble trouble or problem because if I start to speak English with other people, and sometimes I I don't don't find some or some verbs, verbs or okay. words to complete the, the sentences. But another opportunity that I guess that, that I have, it is that my listening, I, I, I need to improve it so much because when, when the classes start the last Monday, oh my God, I, I didn't understand it, nothing. But <laughs> really? Yes, yeah, because you was talking so quick you were talking you were, too you were talking you were Alfredo, talking. do you do you drive do you drive yes when you go back yes. home when you when you're going to work yes do you this is a question for everybody are you on a traffic jam once a day or twice a day are you on a traffic jam once or twice a day we're in san salvador i think right yes, yeah teacher. Um, I, so so you see this thing here you see this yes so use it use it wisely while you drive just push the record button and start going crazy okay so this is the set i'm in front of a hundred people 
and I have to talk in English about about self improvement, about training needs, about choose the topic. I have to talk about rocks. Okay, so start recording. Okay, and y ponen el teléfono lejos, ahí no me van a decir, por su culpa fue chocar, no. Okay, <laughs> just put the cell phone, okay, where you can record. And then you start. Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Maria, and I am 37 years old. Um, I, I talk to you about rocks. Un minuto, dos minutos. Después, cuando llegas a la casa, te dedicas una hora, si querés, después de la clase, te sentás y empezás a escucharte. Lo primero que vas a decir es, uy, qué fea mi voz, ¿verdad? Sí, porque si no lo sabías, no es tan sexy como lo escuchas así vos mismo ahorita cuando hablas. Es horrible, los demás oyen diferente tu voz, ¿ok? Entonces, yes. empezás a autocriticar, Wilfredo. Autocriticate. Uy, dije, talk, talk. Y dijeron que es talk, talk. Y ahí tú solo vas a ir atando caos. ¿Tenés una duda? Subrayalo, escribí lo que encontraste, tener duda ahí, lo escribo, le pregunto al teacher, mire teacher, ¿me puede pronunciar esta palabra, por favor? O solo me pones, mira en el chat, uh, me escribís a mí, pronunciation, yo voy a entender que querés la pronunciación de eso, okay. T-A-L-K, talk, ok, yo te voy a decir, talk, talk, that's it, ya, el punto es, hace algo, esto es algo que yo hago, no, solía hacer cuando daba clases presenciales y amaba hacer eso, venir en el carrito de 1978 que tengo mira, manejando y venía hablando yo solo, si alguna vez me encontrás en la calle manejando, a ver qué voy este bicho está loco a ver si... hey, el mundo está lleno de gente normal, hay que ser loco, ok so talk to yourself, si, no, si toda la vida te dijeron no hables solo, estás loco, no ahora te lo digo, habla a ti mismo. Okay. Lately, lately, teacher, in my job, I was trying to to, to talk with my, my, I have a co-worker that he speaks English all night because he graduated, I don't remember, in Centro Cultural Idioma, I remember. Really? But he, yes, he speaks very nice. Then, that when I start to, to, to start in English, when I remember I start to module three. Module three? Yes, uh -huh. but when we we were starting, uh, I remember, an and intermediate level, I start uh -huh. to basic level, uh -huh. but my, I, 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 I feel so happy because when I start to talk with him, um, I, I remember, I, I, I understood him. I understood him. Parent. I understood uh -huh. him. Le entendí. I understood him. Te está pasando que no estás aplicando los verbos en pasado, Wilfredo. Yes. Debería de empezar, de, de empezar por ahí. This Esta is... historia que me estás contando, grabarla así. Y tú te vas a dar cuenta que lo que te falta son verbos en pasado. Y lo que acabamos de ver, la separación de dos verbos. Porque no digo I talk. A, a ver, a ver, ¿cómo fue que hice? Mm, dijiste. Sí. Ajá, I speak to writing, no sé, ocupas de verbo, tú, ING, y entonces me okay. quedé. Ajá, entonces, ojo, puedes revisar esta grabación, puedes revisar el video, ajá, y encontrar lo que dijiste, me vas a decir, ah, es cierto, puse verbo el, en la preposición tú y después un verbo con ING. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah. ok. Ok. Good guys, uh, sorry, I'm talking too much Spanish at this point. So let, let's move on. There's a lot of things that I could say to you, you know, but uh, time, time's up, time's up. Let's see. So we have to discuss a little bit about training. Training, um, <clears throat> really quick, Wilfredo, help me. What is training? Training is when you, you, you receive uh, some Oh, training. please, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, on the, on the oh. board here, oh, if you oh, can please. read, read, please. Okay, training is already a process that involves the acquisition, uh, acquisition, acquisition, uh -huh. acquisition of knowledge, sharpening of skills, accept roles, or changing of 
attitudes, 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 attitudes and behaviors to change the performance of employees. Excellent, very good. Just remember the H sounds like a J in English. So enhance, to enhance, enhance. enhance. Okay, uh, again, acquisition, attitudes, concepts, behaviors, and hence the performance of employees. So basically guys, a training is just a tool that is used for you to improve your knowledge. That's basically it. Let's move on. Um, the next slide. Uh, there's a difference between training, okay, and development. So let's see, uh, Nelson, if you can help me, training focuses. Okay, difference between training. Training focuses on a specific job technology and a skill that is to be applied in, applied in the short run. Good, thank yep. you. Knowledge. knowledge, knowledge. So training focuses on a specific job knowledge, knowledge. and skill that is to be applied in the short run in short terms what you are trained for is what you will do, okay? So if you have a cashier and you teach him, you, you train him, I'm sorry, you train this person about currencies, about dollars, euros, Australian dollars, Canadian dollars, okay? That's a training. But development, Walter Mauricio, development, Development and focus on bronze and knowledge and insist that may be required for adaptation to environment demands in the future. Excellent. Again, development focuses focuses on focuses. broad, broad knowledge. Broad. broad knowledge. Just remove the A. Broad knowledge and insights. Insights that may be required for adaptation to environmental demands in the future. So this development will help you all through your life. For example, a clear example of development <laughs> for many of us. Do you remember when you start using a computer, when you started, sorry, using a computer for the first time? Do you still use that knowledge? Yes, right. <laughs> You're still using that knowledge when you learn to use a computer. Okay, so that's a broad knowledge, broad knowledge, extended knowledge. Okay, it's deep, it's very deep, it's insight. Okay, let's continue. I just want to leave you with this thought. Uh, Julia, can you help me with the first thought, the first one? Yes. Can you change it? Your, can you change the, the view, please? How come? Only see you. We uh, only see me? Yes. Oh, oh, I got you, I got you, hold on. Like that? There? Oh, you can only see me. Solo me puede ver a mí. Eh, lo que tiene que hacer es mover la pantallita con su dedito en la pantalla, si, si está desde el celular. Si no, no está viendo no la toque. presentación. No, no toque nada. Yo no toque nada. Ajá, solo, me, que... solo me está viendo a mí, Susana. No, es que está la pantallita chiquita de la, de la, de lo que quiere presentar ah. arribita. O sea, es como que usted lo ha dejado en un segundo plano. ¿Y allí? No. ¿No? Ok, hold on. Vamos a hacerlo de nuevo. Ok, ¿y ahora? Hoy sí. <ríe> ok, yes. ¿Julia? Okay. Yes, the first. 
Okay, it's not what you want in life. It's knowing. How to reach it. Yeah. It's not what you want in life. It's knowing how to reach it. If you notice, it has a ladder. This is Romeo and Juliet, right? Romeo and Juliet. It's not what Romeo wants in life, which is Juliet. It's knowing how to reach it because he knows he wants Juliet, but he doesn't know how to reach Juliet. Look at the ladder. It's too short, right? So if you don't know what you want in your life, okay, it, you may know what you want in your life, but you don't know how to get it. So, okay. Eh, los dejo, eh, en otras palabras, si sabes que querés saber aprender inglés, sabes que hablar inglés te va a sacar de la pobreza, como no quieras ver, pero no sabes cómo alcanzarlo. So, think about it. Okay, and the last one. Somebody else? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not how high you want to rise. It's knowing how to take off. <laughs> it's not how high you want to rise. It's knowing how to take off. And you know how to take off your learning English. <laughs> yes. Yes. What do you think? Rosa? Yes. All the time I want to I want to speak to you, but I don't know how to take off. <laughs> how to take off. For, yeah. Well, at this point it's very simple. Just do it. Just do it. Try it. And that's it. You will be able to make it fluently. Um, okay, time's up. Se nos acabó el tiempo, pero vamos a seguir con esta presentación. Está bien bonita. Ahí vamos a aprender los diferentes tipos de trainings que hay. Y es más, es bastante motivacional la presentación, pero está muy apegada al tema del de, de, de libro de Sonia. Eh, Quieren alcanzar la fluidez, hagan lo que les decía en ese video chiquito, el del de, el hindú, que aparece hablando sobre. Uh, the jam technique, just a minute, just a minute technique. Espero que lo hayan visto, okay? Good. Eso es la mejor manera de hablar fluido. Sometimes at this level, in my case, maybe all the time I say, oh, I'm learning so much. <laughs> but now <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, oh my God, it's a long way to, <laughs> what? it's a long way, but it's not impossible. <laughs> it's not impossible. <laughs> It's yes, not impossible no, it's not at all. Impossible. Yeah. <laughs> not at all. Believe me, I've I've been through a lot. Don't give up. Don't give never, up. Never give up. Never give <laughs> yes, up. You, never give you will up. make it. And just focus that I mean, language is, is different in every area. No se un día está trabajando de arquitecto, otro día se está trabajando de abogado, otro día de ingeniero y cada lenguaje diferente. So lo mismo pasa en español. So don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Good. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. <laughs> Adrián Estefani Martínez Flores. Adri, she's gone. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. And we stay, Edwin, for 10 minutes, please. Good. Flor de María Carballo Garte. Good night. Gabriel Ignacio Lara. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good night. Good night. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Good night. Good night. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Stephanie Elizabeth Ayala Pérez. 
Present teacher. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow. It's Friday. I'll see you. Yes. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. night. See you. Okay, Walter, how are you? Edwin. <laughs> Why did I call you Walter? Hice lo mismo cuando estabas conmigo antes, creo yo. No sé por qué estoy viendo la mente que hice lo mismo antes. No okay, Edwin, Edwin, how are you? I'm good. I'm very tired. Very tired and exhausted because I went to Guatemala today. Really? Wow. How, how yeah. long? How long is um, it? Uh, can you imagine that I wake up uh, around like four o'clock in the morning? So, uh, I, I've been in Guatemala around like nine or in 10. So I went with my boss and he, 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 he got over there because he has business to do over there. So, um, the trip to, to Guatemala, to Salvador, to Guatemala is almost like three hours and a half. Uh, but was an accident in the morning. I don't know if you heard that in the Chorros. So we need to go around Quesatepeque. So it, it took, it, it takes more hours, like four and a half. So we, we, we went to Guatemala around night. So he, he, we move around Guatemala because he, he needs to do some business there. So I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I, I I couldn't stop uh, driving, so you you couldn't imagine how 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 exhausted I be right now. <laughs> so I I came to my house around seven. I just have uh, my dinner and talk to my wife a little bit. Then I connect to class. You know, it's a little bit hard. You no. Know? <laughs> hey, good. Um, uh -huh. let's see. Let's point out some things you just said. This is past. Yeah. So I woke up at four o'clock. Okay, good. I woke up. Don't forget the past. But okay. was an accident, but there was an accident. But there was an accident. There was, there was an accident. Okay. There was an accident on the road. We moved to Guatemala. I think you were trying to say uh anduvimos por todo Guatemala, right? Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Anduvimos por todo Guatemala. <laughs> how do you how how would you do that? How would you say anduvimos por todo Guatemala? Um, we we be all around Guatemala, no? Uh, uh be uh huh. We are being uh past around, no no the past we of have being. being uh -uh, the past of being. We been no. There are two forms of past for the verb to be mm -hmm. i i he she it was <laughs> remember i he she it was we you they were again we were uh-huh we were we all were around all around mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we were all around guatemala okay we were all around Guatemala. There's another way Gringo say that. <laughs> we were uh, upside down. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. Okay. So it was a business trip. It was a business trip. And, and at the same time, we pick up uh, uh, her brother. Mm -hmm. and so wait, wait, your boss is a woman or a man? Uh, he's a woman. Oh, she's okay. a woman. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we no, we 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 took her sister uh -huh. to to Salvador, mm -hmm. and 
and tomorrow I don't know if I I can connect because. Um, uh, wait, 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 wait. Tomorrow I don't know if I can connect. I don't. That's I, I, future. I, I, that's future. Okay, tomorrow I don't know if I can connect because if I, I if I can't connect. Uh, future, future. If I will can connect. Ah, good mm -hmm. point. How do you use can in the future? Instead of can, you know. use be able to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tomorrow, uh, I don't tomorrow know. I, uh -huh. If I can be able to uh, connect. Uh, uh, forget about can. If I, I be know. able to connect. If I'll be able to connect. If I will be able to connect. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. be because uh, we're going to uh, to Costa del Sol to, to their... Uh, because they have a ranch over there. So the the, the connection is on, on a stable over there. So I'll, I don't know if if I will have if I have trouble with the connection. Well, so I would I will try, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So because uh, we're going to Costa del Sol. We are going uh -huh. to La Costa del Sol. We're going to Costa del Sol. Okay. okay. Don't forget the verb to be. We are going to the Costa del Sol. Okay. okay. So they have a rain, a uh, hut. They have a hut in in La Costa del Sol. Yes. Yes. They're uh, they are very rich people. Oh really? So you're a driver. I'm a driver. I don't know if you remember me, but actually I was with you in Intermediate Five. Right. Yeah, I do. Yes. I do. I do now. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know if you remember that I'm a bodyguard. You know, you're a bodyguard. That's right. Hey, yeah, can you fight? I, I, uh? Are you trained to fight? Yes. I, I'm oh trained. my god! And, really? And That's good. many people ask me if I have a gun or things like that, but but I, I don't want to say that to. No, nah, it's to okay. Go. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay, but, but well, I mean, mm -hmm. if you're trained, if you're prepared, that's awesome. Yes, I, that's I'm, an awesome. I, really I, that's an awesome job. Mm -hmm. And they, they speak yes. English, right? Who speaks English? Your boss? Yeah, the, everyone speaks English in my my job because you know, yeah, uh, they're. I don't know how. To Are say, they Americans? Uh, they're not Americans, but. They have uh, related to a lot of people they, because they they, they songs. How do you say? Hay una hija que sí está casada con un americano y un canadiense. Ah, pero ellos tienen sus negocios aquí. Ellos son ellos son. Come como... on, continue with English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they are uh, related. They are related to are foreigners. They're related to foreigners. They're related to foreigners, exactly. Foreigners. Foreigners. <laughs> Fore, foreigners. Okay, uh, foreigners. There, there's a good band. There's a great band named Foreigner. Okay, yeah. It, was, no, it is great because you know how, how I learned to speak English because their they're, they're, they're family Mm -hmm. uh, when they can't be here, they start speak English. Uh, they they speak English all the time. So I I listening to them, and that's the reason that what I decide to start learning English. And that's yeah. amazing. You had to. You had yeah. to. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, did you ever catch them? Did you ever what catch you them? Catch them like talking about you? Like man, this guy. I don't know yeah, if I trust yeah, them. They, they, <laughs> like... they know that I'm learning English and they say that I have a, a, a good, uh, uh, my, my English is like, I don't know, it's kind of different to other ones, you know, because I, I have been, uh, because they, they teach me things like, like, how do you say, uh, as you, you know, that word is snitch. Snitch? When you, uh huh. Snitch? When, when, uh -huh. Like when you, uh huh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or if you want, if you want to talk, you know, if you go and talk to a girl, and you uh -huh. say, ah, oh, the girl is a consider. Uh -huh. a consider is like creída, you know. Oh, consider. yeah, I don't use these words really. Do you say that? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I had 
<laughs> such a long I had too long without listening to these words. That <laughs> that's funny. Okay, man. Well okay. And amazing. That's amazing that you're learning so fast with them. Continue talking to yeah. them. Take advantage. Take yeah, advantage. Yeah, I will take advantage of that. Yeah, continue talking to them, you know, all the time. Mm -hmm. if, you want, if you want to know how to say something, you know, and if you have doubts about something that I have said, ask them, okay. hey, my teacher mentioned this word. Mm -hmm. For example, how, how, how you say comfortable. Do you say comfortable or do you say comfortable? All right. <laughs> let's see what they say comfortable nice. <laughs> comfortable or comfortable comfortable right. comfortable comfortable okay okay man i'll see you right. tomorrow oh hopefully oh. yeah probably. okay <laughs> well take care Win. nice to have you back okay. good night thank you nice talk thank you bye bye bye